Good morning, Bulldogs. My name is Brian Castaño. And I'm Elizabeth Grano. Today is Friday, October 18th of 2019. Welcome back to Braddock TV. Last week, Braddock hosted a new and inspiring project called Start With Hello. Students around the school emphasized the importance of being kind and considerate to one another. Here's Kayla with more information on Start With Hello. On the week of September 23rd, multiple clubs got together to take part in the Start With Hello program. The cheerleaders, dancers, and baseball players all took part in this project to connect with their fellow peers who seemed lonely or socially isolated. This makes a point that it is important to connect with those around you because you never know what someone may be going through. This event puts a focus on mental health in our community here at Braddock. Start With Hello is a program that was started by the parents of the Sandy Hook victims to raise awareness about those who are isolated to prevent further shootings. As a cheerleader, we said good morning to the students coming in. We also went up to them during lunch and we had conversations and it was nice hearing stories about people who don't have much friends and you really get to know who's in your environment and it really humbles you. Braddock was also on the radar last week with the Latin Grammys donating money to one of our programs and providing us with a special guest. Here's Danny with more coverage on the Latin Grammys event. On Tuesday, October 1st, our very own band was donated $20,000 worth of band instruments from the Latin Grammy Cultural Foundation. This foundation is known for providing financial aid to underprivileged Hispanic students seeking a career in the musical arts. Our students were given a guest appearance from singer Sebastián Yatra and Hispanic TV host Raúl de Molina. The students had the ability to ask questions and were even given a surprise performance of, from Sebastián himself. Big thanks to the Latin Grammy Cultural Foundation for this generous donation. I feel like, I feel like it's a gift, you know. Um, it's not every day that somebody says somebody's going to donate $20,000 to your music program. So with $20,000, we, we can do a lot. You know, we were able to get, replace some marching band instruments that haven't been changed out in over 25 years. Uh, some of them are original to the school. so. Uh, it was great to be able to get new instruments for that and, uh, as I said before, um, to get more instrumentation for beginning band. The donation given to us by the Latin Grammys has really benefited us. Um, we, we've had the same instruments since like, the school opened, so it really helps to have new instruments that you know, actually work and definitely gives us the opportunity to be the best we can. So we had the fortunate opportunity to have the Latin Grammy um, foundation come and present a donation of nearly $20,000 in band equipment but add to an inventory that is already small enough to begin with so this will give more students the opportunity to have an instrument in their hand and really be able to practice at home and um, do the things they need to do in order to help our band program become what it was back in the in the 90s when we had such a large program Right now our program has kind of shrunk a little bit and although we have some very good quality, we still need the numbers to continue working towards bringing that large band program back to Braddock. The fall season is almost over, but our athletes are just heating up. Here's Christopher with our sports. Our very own Braddock Bulldogs take off this year's 2019-2020 homecoming game with an outstanding game crushing victory against Felix Varela with a score of 38-0. The Bulldogs bounced back from a two-game losing streak, leaving them with a record of 3-4 in district games. Our cross-country team has completely taken the district by storm, for a record of 5-1 in meets. They have taken the crown for Junior Orange Bowl and the Miami-Dade County Championship, as well as other meets. Their only loss came with most members of the team beating their own personal best. The bowling team have been winning consistently with a record of 39-10 for the girls and the record of 24-25 coming from the boys. In their latest game, the girls get a perfect 7-0, leaving the opponents scoreless and improving their overall record. This is Christopher, reporting for sports. This month of September has been super busy for us here at Braddock. Here's Angelina with a recap of September. For the past couple of weeks, our Bulldogs have been busy hosting and participating in exciting and new events. Here's a recap. On September 23rd, Club Rush took place during both lunches. Our extracurriculars presented what they had to offer here at Braddock. Students looked around different booths collecting forms and information from the members and officers. This event consisted of a wide variety of clubs that tackled specific interests. Later that night, parents gathered to learn the curriculums of their child's classes. Parents were given the opportunity to listen, learn, and ask any questions they had concerning the class. 
students were able to walk around and guide their parents through what would be a regular day at school. Spirit Week was hosted at Braddock on October 7th. Each student designed creative ways to represent the theme of each specified day. These days consisted of Meme Day on Monday, Squad Day on Tuesday, Spirit Day on Thursday, and Tacky Tourist on Friday. The G Home's Braddock Homecoming Dance was hosted on October 11th. Under the Sea was this year's exciting theme. There was food, lights, music, and much more entertainment. Positive feedback was received from our Bulldogs about how much fun they had. It was definitely a night to remember. We understand that sometimes it's hard to make friends. I think Andy has a hack on how to make friends. Let's check it out. Hey, wait. Hey, I'm Andy. And people were asking me, hey, how do you have so many friends? And I'm like, I don't know. But if I had some tips and tricks, I just tell them, hey, you know what? Have confidence. Be willing to talk to people and honestly, just have that connection with them. So, this is how you make friends. The trick is, you just want to get to know them, you know? But while you do that, you also have to talk to them like they've been a friend of yours for a very long time. Hey guys, what's up? So what are you guys doing? So yeah, like, like, what's up? I want to get to know you, bro. Like, like, what's up? Just, Let me get another one of those. I'm trying to, we're just, we're just trying to cook it, man. We're just, Let me get one. Bro, you know we should go. Have you ever been a night owl? You ever been a night owl? They make good cook. We should go. Yo, all right, let's go. I'll tell you the address. Just start driving. Bro, who are just start you? driving. What are you doing right, in my car? So let's just, what are you doing in my car? So, so let's just, just go. I'll let you know where Night Owl is. I'll let you know where Night Owl is. Sometimes, when they talk bro. like this and they're really reprimanding, you Dude, just you gotta... get out of the car like right now. Sometimes, when they're acting like this and they're reprimanding you, you just gotta keep going. Who are you talking Show to? Show persistence. That's what makes what a good friend. Doing? So let's just go to Night Owl. Let's just go to Night Owl. Let's go get the cookies, bro. No, dude, you guys like you cookies? Dude, I don't out. know you. You want a cookie? You need to get out of like you the want car a right now. I don't. I don't know who you are. You want Why are you in my car you right want now? You a cookie so you can get out. You, you need to get out like right now. You to, no, but like, like we could go to Night Owl and no. then we could go out. Take you, a cookie, man. Who, take I don't know you. Why would I go to Night Owl with you? I don't know you. But. That's the way that we're gonna get to know each other. Dude, you just got in my car for no, like, I don't know you. Take the cookie, man. You can't just do that. Just take the cookie, it's not worth it. Okay. It's not worth it. Dude, get out of my car. It's not worth it. Hey, you're not gonna take the cookie? Yeah, take the Is this you? Bruh. Is your social economic upbringing affecting your ability to form relationships with your fellow adolescent contemporaries? Do you hyperventilate through your respiratory system when interacting with other people? Well, I have a solution for you. Maybe going big Mr. Phil Swift mode isn't always the option when interacting with the broskies. Whoa, bro, Tendo. Not cool. Let's take it down a notch. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at GHB underscore TV. 
and tune in to our YouTube channel on Fridays at 10.15 a.m. for new episodes. And remember to make it happen with, with Braddock, Braddock TV. TV.